putting the structure of power as we know it on trial. There's a new film that seeks to do just that, looking at the history of political power, scandal, and the vision of some of the most well-known leaders in the world and how they shaped it. Jason Burmas is a radio host and filmmaker and is behind a new movie that we're talking about right now. It's called The Invisible Empire, A New World Order Defined. Hey there, Jason. I just checked out the trailer for your film, and it looks like you've strung together a lot of historical footage, many of it former U.S. presidents talking about the need for a new world order. Talk about this concept and what it means to you. Well, throughout history, men of power have seeked to bring together the world under one government, and they've called this the new world order whether it be Hitler during World War II or George Bush after the Gulf War, they all seem to use this terminology. So I decided to explore that and see what a new world order really was and try to define that term. And uh, what did you find? Well, I found that uh, through organizations such as the Council on Foreign uh, Relations, the Royal Institute for International Affairs, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderberg Group, and many others, they have consolidated power on a mass level and are moving towards a world government. You're seeing this more and more with events like the G20 calling for a world currency and SDR units as the new reserve currency. So I'm really out to expose this agenda to not only the American people, but the world. I, n I understand that you did also some work on the film Loose Change 9-11, which challenges what the authorities have said about 9-11 and identifies some of the main points of what's now becoming the 9-11 truth movement. Does the Invisible Empire deal with this issue at all? Well, absolutely. Actually, my last film, Fabled Enemies, exposed the international intelligence organization surrounding 9-11. Instead of focusing on the anomalies at the World Trade Center, at WTC7 or Shanksville, we exposed the Saudi Arabian, the Pakistani, the Israeli and shadow government connections and are now taking this a step further with Invisible Empire, a new world order defined. And this will be premiering at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv April 15th for the world to see. And as you just mentioned, you're releasing it on um, InfoWars and Print Prison Planet. Did you try at all to get this released on the big screen or to get some investors to back you so it could become more well-known by the public? Well, to be honest with you, I've tried to go that route before, and it can be an extremely difficult process. And with my films being seen by tens of millions of people online for free, that gets the message out. And we encourage people to take our films, make copies, and hand them out. Because this is not about money. This is about getting the information to the public so that we can try to restore the Constitution and Bill of Rights in this country. This is to oppose tyranny, not to make a profit. I'm curious about Invisible Empire itself. What? Uh, give me some of the specifics, the premise, and what you hope viewer, viewers will get out of it. Well, a lot of times when people use the term New World Order, you're already into the conspiracy arena. And I literally have over 200 prominent people discussing that very term. So I want to shatter the image of what a New World Order means and really put out the facts, the truth about this agenda. And that's what I've done in this film, not only going over their organizations, but also their modes of control, such as assassination and false flag terror. You were um, contrasting, I noticed, especially in the trailer, some of uh, some leaders. For example, you had Hitler in there. You also had, um, you know, President Kennedy, President Bush. Talk a little bit about. I mean, you seem to be arguing that there's sort of a congruent message between these leaders. Well, I don't think that I put Kennedy in a negative light. Kennedy warned us that secret societies and backdoor dealings were a major problem during his presidency, and we know where that led to, his assassination. So when we have a person like George Bush espousing a new world order under the United Nations and global governance, and then on the other side of the supposed spectrum, we have people like Al Gore calling for the same exact thing and Bill Clinton calling for the same exact thing. In this film, you'll see Bill Clinton talk about a new world order, not once but twice. So really, I want to expose this, like you said, congruent agenda for world government. All right, Jason Burmas, thanks so much for giving us that inside look on your upcoming film. Comes out, Invisible Empire comes out April 15th.